Spring brings lots of beautiful cloud formations, and these provide a gorgeous backdrop to all the live oaks that are starting to flower and shed the last of their copper leaves from the winter. I love drifting by the ones that hang over the water. And the ibises seem to enjoy the water views as well. One of my favorite live oaks these days is this one that was almost destroyed by Hurricane Florence. Despite all the damage being totally uprooted, the live oak continues to survive. Notice all this new growth. The marshes are also springing to life. Here, the marsh elder is sprouting among stands of black needle rush. The small brown clusters are the flowers of the needle rush, another species that flowers in the spring rather than in the fall. The contrast provided among the various marsh grasses, shrubs, and trees makes for beautiful views around the Rachel Carson Reserve this time of year. The locals are thoroughly enjoying the new spring sprouts of Spartina, also known as the salt marsh cordgrass, which is a staple of their diet. I finally got the chance to observe the reserve's newest addition this week, doing something besides sleeping. He seemed much more interested in a mid-morning snack than his mom. She seemed more interested in getting her own brunch than trying to stop to fulfill the new foal's desire for a snack. I rescued a bumblebee this week. I discovered him spinning in a circle along the edge of the marsh, so I extended my paddle as a lifeline. He climbed aboard the paddle and I lifted him over to the marsh where he could grasp some needle rush until his wings were dry enough for flight. He didn't seem to understand my plan, so I lowered him back to my board and offered him a ride until he was ready to leave. I continued paddling along the marsh edge and made another stop before rounding a corner where I thought the stronger breezes might make hanging six a little more difficult for the bee. I stepped off to shoot some pictures of the spring sprouts on some wax myrtle. And when I returned to my sub, I noticed the bee had crawled up onto my leash. As I reached for my camera to grab a quick shot, he fluttered his wings a bit and then flew away to continue his pollinating in the marsh. The marsh is full of critters right now. I found two of the coolest species this week. Cow nose rays. I know they bother the shellfish farmers, but it is so cool when schools of these guys swim under and around my board. They are so engaging and so graceful in their movements. Just look. How awesome is this? And then there are the diamondback terrapins. Is there anything cuter than this? I just love spotting these guys grazing along the marshes as they forage for some algae and the tasty little periwinkles. I ended the week by drifting by the egret rookery and was pleased to see so much greenery. This area was all but destroyed by Hurricane Florence in 2018. Last fall, site manager Paula Gillikin organized some volunteers to replant several yopon in this section since it is a vital nesting area. The egrets and herons seem quite content with the new nesting shrubs. It's been a beautiful week in the Crystal Coast. Hope to see you out there soon.